your first warm forecast. But first, breaking at six, Republican Mark Harris goes one on one with NBC Charlotte. Harris thought he'd be in Washington, D.C. right now. Instead, he is here in the Carolinas in the midst of a huge election fraud investigation. The District 9 seat remains empty tonight, and Harris beat Democrat Dan McCready by just 900 votes. But because of the investigation, it hasn't been certified by the State Board of Elections. NBC Charlotte Tanya Mendes sat down with Harris this afternoon. She's live tonight. So, Tanya, what did Harris have to say? So Harris is being really transparent with us. He says that this has been a very difficult time for him. He says he's been meeting with investigators. He's tried to give them as much information as possible. Just turning over another several thousand documents yesterday, more today. He says, though, this situation is frustrating, but he remains hopeful that this race will be certified in his favor. God is going to work this out, and I really believe that I'm going to be in the 116th Congress. But that Congress was sworn in without him. So for Reverend Mark Harris, the last week has been one of missed opportunities. So the idea of, of having my grandchildren with me at, uh, at that swearing in event uh, is being lost on me. Was, was a bit disappointing. The District 9 seat sits empty while Harris sits down with us, caught in a massive ballot tampering investigation that could have the whole election tossed out. Would you be surprised, though, if somebody said there's just too much taint here? I think if they can show that there are a significant number of ballots that, that were affected and called into question. The man accused of illegally collecting ballots, McCray Dallas, a man who we now know was accused of potentially using similar illegal tactics in previous races. Because when I read the things that were in there, I'm going, my heavens, if these allegations are actually proven true, Somebody should be in prison. So we asked Harris if he knew then what he knows now, would he have hired Dallas? I probably would not have had that meeting. I can feel safe to say. State elections investigators are preparing to turn their findings over to a judge next week. Harris is hoping a judge will certify the race. This ultimately, though, doesn't go to a judge or a state board. There's a Democrat-controlled Congress. There is. That can just stop you at the door. They can. <laughs> they um, can. Are you worried about that? What's your reaction when you're hearing now that they're saying, we're going to look into this too? Well, again, I, I think everybody's welcome to look wherever they want to look. So we did try to reach out to his opponent in this race, Dan McCready, to see how he feels. He's had some very stern words for Harris on social media over the last few days, but we have yet to sit down one on one with him. We are hopeful to do so in the coming days. A spokesperson for him, though, tells us that he's out of town right now, and that's the reason why we're not hearing from him directly. Reporting live in District 9, I'm Tanya Mendez.